In this video, we will see how to register and invoke a custom script in OCI functions from OAC using Dataflow. From the main menu, select register model of functions and then OCI functions. You can select an existing connection or you can create a new connection by providing a connection name, description, or region identifier, tenancy OCI ID, user OCI ID, etc. Also, let's generate the API key and once you save this API key in OCI, you will be able to save this connection in OAC. Now you see a list of applications available under OCI connection which is created. Let's select fast scripts from the list which shows a list of functions in that application. Once you select the function hello pi, you will see the information like name, description, bucket name, etc. about the function and also parameters and output columns. This function basically calculates the word count. A little info icon appears with the functions that are not compatible with OAC. Any script in OCI function which fulfills the OAC contract can be registered here. More details about the contract can be found in the link below. Let's register this function and you can see these functions saved under scripts tab in machine learning page. Let's inspect the function and you will find all the details like name, application, bucket name in general tab and output and parameters in the details tab. Let's close this and let's create a data flow and select Amazon reviews which has reviews as text and rating for the different IDs. Let's select apply custom script to select the function that we just registered. And now let's select the review column to count the number of words it has. Now let's save data, provide a output dataset name and let's save this data flow as well and run this. While this data flow is running, the required input data is sent to OCI functions in a secured manner to run the script and the output data set of which is sent back to OEC. Once it's completed, you will see the output data set has results, which is the word count of the review column. So let's select these two columns and pick the table with. You can see the results here. Thanks for watching this video.